Okay, we're back, and we're checking out the Thieves Guild for the first time, and we inadvertently completed an entire quest line and recruited the Thieves Guild to be our friends, right? You have a cult to kill. What do you need from me to do it? Is any of the story you told me is true? Miss from an enemy to an asset, you're welcome. What can I do to help you? I need information. I ran, I ran into some of your thugs, the Rivington Rats. Oh, did you enjoy the encounter? They got a payday out of me. A charitable donation to the good protectors of Rivington. Was that the tune that belayed you? The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. Hmm. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly. So I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. Uh, Genesis Gaming, 25 months as a member, and says Asterion is a thief, curse him. Thank you, Genesis Gaming, for the support. Uh, any information? Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. How's your fighting against the absolute going? <laughs> Which part? The Stone Lords hollowed this place out. Half my What's funny is we already took care of the Stone Lords. Every day, while Gortash's toy soldiers control the streets. When the Absolute's army arrives to wage war on the city, our best hope is to make sure they have All no right, leaders blah, blah, blah. willing to open the gates for them. I guess we're done. She doesn't really say anything, right? She doesn't really have anything to talk about. Whoa. Some people here can't go in there. Northeast corner would be what? Northeast is this way, right? This is the northeast corner, but it's blocked. So the guild comes out on top. Sometimes nine fingers are all you need, eh? What are you having? What the hell? Why does he have armor? That is so random. Drunken cloth. While drunk, you have advantage on constitution saving throws. You gain temporary hit points equal to your constitution modifier. That's pretty random. Alright. In the big room? Go to the big room. Alright. Ma are you kidding me? We finally fucking found Maul? Oh my god. Welcome one, welcome all. You're looking at Fetch's brats, the guild horse fight. It's about goddamn time we found her. Ready to do some business? I found the contract you signed with Raphael Maul. Do you want it? Give me that. Can't have this floating around loose. I thought I was meant to be the thief. <laughs> is this how you survived the Shadowlands to deal with Raphael? So what if it is? Choosing the right allies is just common sense. You wouldn't have made it this far on your own. Big Raph doesn't own me. He's just giving me the tools to keep myself alive and to take what I want. As for what that is, well, you didn't think I planned to stop at running the Fetch's Brats, did you? This will end badly. Everyone who takes a devil's deal think they'll be in control. You should know by now that I'm not everyone. If Raphael doesn't know that yet, he'll... Raphael's know. dead. Show me what you're capable of. There's a fight for the city's survival coming. Can I count on your help? I wouldn't miss All right. the world. Baldur's Gate is home now. And the brats are my family. Nobody messes with my family. There you go. We have finally completed the mall quest line. Excellent. And I wonder, I wonder, you know, I think we recruited the Thieves Guild as well, right? So we're doing a lot of progress here. Ready to do some business? Now I guess I am. Uh, I don't have anything. It's her contract, look. Thieves tools? Oh, I'll buy these. I need Thieves tools. <clears throat> All she has it. Sucks. We know how she escaped Moonrise. All right. Well, I guess we're done. We did that, so now we did the mall quest line, we did the Thieves Guild quest line inadvertently. 
Here's another vendor, Sticky Dondo. Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Oh, uh, what do we got? More thieves tools? I'll buy the thieves tools. I need them desperately. Uh, what do we got? Shade Slayer's cloak. While hiding, <clears throat> the number you need to roll a critical is, is reduced by one. Nah, that's not good. It's all junk. Yeah, it's all junk. Yeah, junk. No boots, all junk. No boots, no rings, right? No better helmet. I need boots, rings, and a helmet. And I can't find any of the three anywhere in the game. No one has this shit. What is going on, man? <clears throat> well, we completed the, uh... Oh. The Thieves Guild links to the city sewers. Well, I had no clue about that. Huh. But I guess we're done. Go back to someone said go back to Damon. He had armor. I wasn't even looking at his armor. You know, I was looking at his for boots or a ring. Do you think that it's that his armor is good? I should buy some armor. Hold on. To untangle my new headphone cord. Did? Well, I almost did. There we go. All right. Oh, I received a tip. Sorry, I didn't even see it. I received a twenty dollar tip. From Domino's Pizza is the best. Basil needs to be saved. Fulfill your destiny and take out Orin. I want to, but that's why we're trying to kit uh Minsk, right? Whose pocket would you rather pick? A druid's? That's what your name was. Domino sucks, right? Thank you for the twenty dollar tip. Anyway, Domino's sucks. I emptied a druid's pocket. <laughs> All I got for it was a that's my video anyway. And with that, we are at our fifty dollar tip goal of the day. Thank you for the tip. Domino sucks. Okay. You pick the pocket of whatever mark you're asking. Common sense. I haven't been to Jahara's house yet and there's gear there. No, I haven't found Jahara's house yet. Nope. Who's talking? I was paying no attention. Someone was gabbing. Okay, well. You're saying Damon again? Ugh, we're gonna go back to Damon and Forge of the Nine. See if he had armor, and then where else can we go? Where else can we go to buy armor and or to buy rings or boots or a helmet or armor? If no one knows, then we're just gonna go try to rescue. Uh... Oh no, this is the wall. I want to do that. Shit, am I stuck on the wrong side of the wall? Oh, you can walk through it. Never mind. An hour, I haven't done anything yet, right? Well, I mean, we did. We inadvertently completed two quests that'll help the end game, but that wasn't my objective. What can I do for you? You're saying he has, like, amazing armor? All right, let's take a look. This one right here. The Armor of Persistence. All incoming damage reduced by two. You gain resistance and Blaine Ward. Yeah, I mean, that's amazing. It also costs 10,000 gold, which is insane. For only one increase to armor class and one damage decrease? <clears throat> it's ridiculously expensive. It's not worth buying, right? Unless I sell all my shit, finally. Right? I could I could get all my shit from camp and just sell all the shit from camp. Because I have so much shit in camp that I never sold. <clears throat> he does have 8,900 gold, right? Or I can just buy it now. Alright, fuck, I'm just gonna buy it now. Okay. And then... Who, who got it? Was it... Did he get it in his inventory, or...?
crazy armor. Crazy looking. We also have Reaper's Embrace that we didn't put on anybody. Uh. Okay. Wasn't there other stuff that I bought? Maybe not. I'm having a brain fart. I thought I bought more stuff, but I guess not. Still alive. So that's progress. What the? I want a sword. If you had to pick one for a night of passion, the one with that thing in his chest plate. Why can't I fucking sort? There, there's too many buttons. I can't sort. How do I sort my inventory? Filters, L3, there it is. Ugh. Oh, I want to put this back. I don't need this anymore. Put this in camp. And this too, because we don't need this right now. So I should put it in. Now I'll give it the Carlac. So we have it on us for later in case I have someone who needs it. This could go to camp. Blast Bandit is junk. Alright, so now we have no money. You know what? Let's just fucking go and do the mission. Let's go... So we can go save Carlac. Excuse me. We can go save uh, Lazel now. Alright, let's do it. Fuck this. This is exactly where we need to be, too, right? Now, wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was a skull. I was like, oh, is that... It is a skull. I was like, is that the skull for the body we found? going there's a merchant near me I never talked to yeah but I have no money I just spent I literally just spent all of my money right voiceless penitent Barecki the penitent looks at you silently expectantly When you rage, hostile creatures in a three-meter radius succeed a wisdom saving throw or take psychic damage. Well, he doesn't rage. This would maybe be for, uh, for Carlac, correct? Why is it skipping Carlac? What the shit? Yeah, when, so when she rages, anyone in a three-meter radius has to do a wisdom saving throw or take psychic damage and intimidation plus two and a new attack called menacing attack. Look at that. So that whenever she does her... Her, uh... What's it called? It's not called rage. It's called something else, right? Whenever she does that, that would hurt people around her. The armor of moon basking. This is for a... Uh, whatchamacallit? A uh, druid. So we're not going to use that. I would love to buy some uh, thieves tools, but I don't have any money. Oh, yeah, I do have money. Oh. Well, I'm stocking up on my lockpicks again. That's a really good uh, helmet for her. Frenzy is that? Is frenzy considered rage? So if she did frenzy with this work. Because I, the only bummer is that it gives her momentum for three turns, which is super good for the start of the fight for her, because she can get into good position to throw the spear. So it's a good helmet for her, right? It costs seven twenty, so I guess I could sell some stuff. How do I sell? Just click on this here. What is this? Why weren't... Oh, take this. Nobody wants that. There you go. Take the toxin. You know the stupid things I'll never use. Right? Ocean of mind reading. Potions of speed. I might need those eventually. Superman Fang Toxin. I'm not using any of that. Sell that. Additional level 4 spell slot? That's crappy. Sell both of those. 
I think I have enough now. Yep. Okay. I don't know if I want to equip it on her right now, though. No, I never used the soul coins. I don't know how. I have no idea how to use soul coins. I have a bunch of them, but I've never used them. I don't know what the hell they do. No one ever explained it, nor did the game. So, I just left them. Uh... Where the hell does this go? I never went this way. I received a $2 tip. <clears throat> if you don't wear a white beater or tank top, your Los Santos satin glasses during at least one of GTA 6, I'm never watching you again. I don't own a tank top or a wife beater, right? I don't think I, I even have one. I would have to go out of my way to buy one, and I don't know if I want to do that. Plus, GTA 6 takes place in Miami, so it wouldn't make sense. In fact, what I'm wearing now is more appropriate for what would be worn in Miami. What's this? Passageway? Where the fuck does this go? Where are we? Ancient lair? What is the ancient lair? Dead human. Or like it's fire damage to melee attacks till long rest after consuming a soul coin. Oh, I don't think we need that because she's not doing melee attacks. She's throwing the spear, right? I don't even know where we are right now. Let's we'll save. Where the, what is this? Where, where are we? Is that money over there? What the fuck? Look at this place. No, I'm not dumb. These creatures are gonna wake up. Uh, this house is no kind of welcome. <laughs> What did I say? <clears throat> we all just got hit with spell rot. Unless you are undead, each time you cast a spell, you receive necrotic damage per spell level. Oh, wow. Well, that's interesting. I'm glad that I read that before I cast a spell. What the fuck is that? A crawling claw? What the hell? We gotta attack these creatures that are gonna get a turn first. This is the tomb of Carrion, an undead guy that I met. It's an optional area. I met an undead guy? Who did I, what? Damn, that was great first turn damage. First kill. Creepy crawly hand. I'm trying to see who's like getting the first turns. I guess the people on the other side. Yeah, it's them. And they're too far away to hit. This is tied to Kyrian's quest line. You talked to him about the Thay book. He was surrounded by undead and wanted you to find his missing servant. I don't remember that in the least. Oh, wait, are you talking about the guy in the house? I didn't even know his name was Carrion. Oh. <clears throat> is this where his servant is? Is his servant in this room? We found him. Scarlet Feast. You have plus three bonus from Scarlet Remittance. Consume it to empower yourself in combat. Huh? I don't know what this means. How does this empower yourself in combat? Scarlet Feast. Why do I have Hunter's Mark and Hunter's Mark? I have two different hunter's marks. This is ridiculous. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! I didn't even see that hand. Oh, 
Nice. Okay. Cool. What's this? All right, Carlac. It is time. Darn! If she had the helmet on right now, it would have benefited her. It would have hit this guy with damage if I had the helmet on. I didn't equip it yet because I'm stupid, right? No, not Chain Lightning Time Guard Gaming because didn't you read? I can't cast a spell. If I cast a spell, unless you're undead, each time you cast a spell, you receive 2 to 12 necrotic damage per spell level. So if I cast that level 6 spell, I could take 72 damage, right? <clears throat> so I probably don't want to do that. I want to not cast spells in this fight. What's up, Don Fanucci? How are you? Path is interrupted. Well, fuck you. In position. Want to do it? This would have been awesome. I would have hit them with the frenzy. Would have hit them both. But I screwed this up. Let's have her attack over here. Yeah. Path is interrupted. I got a kill. I killed one of them, right? It was a hand, I think. All right, she's man, she's so good. Her build is just so ridiculously good right now. This sucks. This is optional. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't, I didn't know what was in here. I stumble in, and now we're doing this giant thing. I will, hopefully we'll get some kind of a reward for it. So remember, I cannot cast a spell, but I can cast cantrips, right? So as long as I can cast cantrips, I'm all right. I'll have, just have to do a bunch of cantrips. It sucks I can't do a spell, but what are you going to do, right? I guess I can do either Ray of Frost or Firebolt. Firebolt could do up to 30 damage, which is pretty good. Not bad. 26 is not bad. I'll get an item for the carrying quest that's useless if I don't do it. Oh. In the vase. Whoops. Okay. How dare you hit me with that? Standing throw. You're gonna regret trying to attack her. You're all gonna regret this. <laughs> he killed himself? He did. He killed himself. Because I'm wearing the cloak. I think it says if you attack. You get counterattack damage. He ended up killing himself. Nice. Knocked him on his ass. Now, once again, remember, I can't use a spell, which sucks because she has a ton of good spells. Her melee attacks kind of stink. You know what I could do? Can I just do turn undead? Is this a spell, though? No. This uses a divinity slot, not a spell slot. Does it only, uh, uh, only influence three people? What if I try to get to the middle? She can get to the middle. Maybe she could turn them all. Got to press on. Oh, so close to that one. Well, I have a chance to turn three of them with this spell. I'll try it. It's not a spell. It's a uh, what you call it? A um, a, a divinity thing. So. And it does no damage, so I can't take damage from it. Never mind. It did deal damage to me. You saw that? It did actually deal damage. We did turn some. We turned them. We turned them. We turned two of them. It was a double turning. All right. A double turning. And this would be considered a spell. That's a spell. They're all spells. But 
it only does damage based on how much damage the spell deals. So if I heal, technically, it shouldn't deal damage, right? If I heal myself, I should be okay, I think. Take two, two. Okay, good. All right. Uh, they walk around like uh, it from uh, Adam's family. Blah, blah, blah. Not it thing. It was thing from Adam's family. It wasn't it is the hairy face dude, right? All right, they're they're not turned. Oh, they are turned. So don't attack them. Don't attack them. Okay, let's attack those that have not been turned. Who says smite? That means I must hit you very hard. I think. I don't have an advantage on anybody, right? Do I? Oop. Well, I'll just do a regular attack then. Why? I guess I'm not in range. Alright, I'll attack the burning one. Uh, sadly, I don't have enough melee. Or enough uh, range to do the melee. I don't want to waste... Cutting action dash. Or misty step. Guess I'll just chill. Fuck yes. How do I recruit Minsk? There's a quest for it. In the quest. <laughs> That's how I did it. Good idea. Boop! Nice! Was that a double kill? It was. Sweet. Oh, I can't reach. Shit. And if she moves, it's attack provoke attack of opportunity. So she can literally throw the spear point blank, or she can attack. I guess we'll do reckless attack. Immune to gaping wounds because it's undead. Darn, I didn't know that. <laughs> How dare you frighten me? How dare you? I'm immobile because I've been frightened. Man, I can't use this then. I can't even do anything besides attack an enemy that's turned in front of me, which I don't want to do because that would make it... Uh, Yeah, that would make it so that uh, it attacks me. I don't want to do that, obviously. Uh, I can't do shit. Yes, my birthday is coming up on the 6th. Correct, and we're going to do a marathon, as we usually do. <clears throat> yeah, I literally can't hit anyone besides those who are turned, and once you hit them, I think what happens is then they turn back, right? So fuck it, his turn is worthless. Well, that's stupid. I attacked and then he atta attacked anyway. Ugh. The spell n rot is gone? No, I still have spell rot. Well, all she can really do is, again, non-spell attacks, right? Barely did any damage. That's a spell. These are all spells. But they're healing spells.
Or I could try removing curse on someone. Who should I remove the curse from? Oh, I can't. It's too late. I already used my turn. Never mind. All right, forget it. Yep, she took a tiny bit of damage. Fight's gonna take forever. Yeah, this is right outside of Orin. Right outside the Orin area. What we're doing right now. Easy. Did I hit Shadowheart with that? I can't tell. Greater zombie. <clears throat> Lost the momentum finally. Damn, didn't kill him. Son of a bitch. So close. Let me see your wounds. Okay. So his spell rot is gone completely. Excellent. She blessed herself and hurt herself at the same time. <laughs> wow, almost killed him. All right, Karlak, it's go time. Find a route. Go on. They get up the butt. Oh. Pick it up the butt again! Oh yeah! We did it. What happened? Whoa! Whoa! What the? Oh, uh, I can't move. I'm glitched. Look, I'm glitched and I can't move my body right now. Look. I'm ready. Get going. Well, the spell rot hit us again, basically. I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. There's a lot of gold in this room. I shall ascend with him. Immortality, practicality. Get all these chests. Yeah, Minsk is pretty good, I'm gonna say. I'm not disappointed with his performance. He's he's doing good in combat. So I will not be super upset. Reaching Pike Staff. It does piercing damage and force damage and has a weapon enchantment plus two. I'll give it to Minced Carry. We have to give this to Carlac and I'm, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have a Carlac equip it. What's the story? And see how it works. Oh god. I mean it fits her it fits her character style, but now you can't see her face at all. You be talking to it constantly, talking into that stupid thing, right? 
Who's your top fighter in Baldur's Gate 1 and 2? Oh, yeah. Who would I give the good armor to? Oh, Minsk. Right? I give it to Minsk. He has the best armor. There is work to do. We could give her the Blackguard's plate now. But this makes it so attackers can't land critical hits on the wearer. That's why I think overall, Bruce is better than the Blackguard's plate. Honestly. I think so. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you, Red Bandit, for a super chat. He says, good afternoon, DSP. Good to have you here, Red Bandit. How are you? I think now we're going to head to Orin once we've cleared this room here. And uh, also, I received a $5 tip from Orin. Remember, fill the skulls for a quest in a pouch literally five feet from the mute vendor. Oh, I have to go back to the to the vendor to find the skull. I didn't see anything there. There was an item there. Was that for the freaking uh the sarcophagus we found with the freaking slime monsters or whatever, the sludge monsters? I never I mean, I probably never would have seen it in a dark ass fucking cave, right? If I I mean, no one's nothing tells you that it's there. Well, I can keep going a little longer now. Just keep looting. All these chests. A decent amount of gold. But I guess really that, that's supposed to be the spear is what you're here for, right? Alright, we got the gold. They locked it? What if you don't have the key? How do you get out? Like, we can lockpick, but how do you get out if you don't, if there's no key? How are you supposed to escape? Another chest over here. 11 gold. Right? Oh, you can break the door? Ah. Well, I'll probably have Minsk try to lockpick for the first time. See how he does. <clears throat> oh, actually, this will be the second okay. time. He already lockpicked Another once, dungeon. right? Open Sesaminsk. Open says a Minsk, he just said. Well, he's pretty good at it. At least things have stayed interesting. So this was just an unrelated area with a random item for a quest for Carrion, who we didn't get the quest yet, so we can't do it. <clears throat> so where's that vendor again? Pouch, Passage of Penitence, Tasteful Boots. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. So, take it anyway. Right? I don't care. I'm going to take it if I want to. Everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. Dark Gaming says, Oh, there was a side room in the room you were just in with more loot. What the fuck? Can I just please do the quests? This is ridiculous. Why is this game so tediously time consuming in everything it does? Nothing can be done in any efficient way. Everything is just ridiculous, over-the-top, time-sucking, right? Everything just sucks your time away. Sucks. It just sucks and sucks and sucks. And it never stops sucking. Where? Where's their fucking side room? Nothing here. Here? That might be worth a look. Life is simple. How would I have known so that? You didn't tell me. How would I have known? Just keep sucking me. Oh, that's a good one. 
Duels. Yeah, look. Jar of Mystic Carrion's brain. What the fuck? Containing Mystic Carrion's thoughtless brain and ancient darkness pulses gently from within. This jar, it feels like death itself. A sure sign of necromancy at work. So what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Right? Can I examine it? It glows, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with it. Look. Where does this go? We've already been here. It's just an alternate way out. Yep. There's a lever. No, don't talk to Minsk is so amazing. Whoa, he spoke! He just says you won't do that again, but I thought he's not able to speak. I thought he's mute. He just spoke. Did you see that? Sleep with one eye open, evil. Maybe both. He doesn't have the ability to go invisible. I am so very stealthy. All right, what now? He just said, watch yourself. He's a mute. And he just said, watch yourself. The penitent looks at you silently. Expectantly. You can see me? You got it. Saren's skull. The skull was not subject to decay, but stripped to clean of flesh entirely. Only the faintest of scorch marks mar the otherwise gleaming bone, a sign of great care, perhaps even reverence. How on the holy hell would you have known that that's where the skull was and that you needed to do what we just did to get it? How in the hell would you have ever known that, right? You never would have known that ever in the game. You're just supposed to magically know. Skullboom. You see its teeth begin to chatter? Now. Can we go do that quest now? Where the hell is that body? I don't remember. It's here somewhere, right? Where was it? Where was the body? In the grease area. Where was the grease area? How do you do this? Where is the body? I don't remember where the fuck the body is because I don't remember where it is. 
Where was that grease area with the stairs where we fought all the monsters? I can't remember. I received a $10 tip. From Presidente, would you ever go to Cancun for a vacation? I don't know. I don't know much about it. Considering the fact that I have really no opportunity to go on a vacation, um, I basically never thought about it. Maybe, maybe not. I'd have to ask if Kat if she'd be interested in something like that. So I'm looking for the grease area where we've already fought those things and killed them earlier in the, in the, the game. This isn't it. I think we can hook a right here. Because then I could use the skull on the body and we can use Speak to the Dead and figure out what the body can tell us. Which we've been waiting to do for a hundred years ever since we first arrived at Baldur's Gate. It was a quest we had. <clears throat> where are we... What? Oh. Taking forever. She's stupid. We see. We know. What is the cranium rat? We never figured that out, did we? I don't ever think we ever figured that out. Okay, here we are. This is it. Evil hides and boo seats. Okay, now I can raise it from the dead and talk to it, correct? Saren at peace. Oh, what did I get? Cancer's Parachnet. Innate fortitude. Once per long rest, you can use a reaction to make an attack roll or saving throw with advantage. Is that all we get? That's all we got was a stupid necklace? Are you kidding me? I did all this work. That's what they fucking gave me? That piece of shit? The fuck do I want that for? Well, fuck. It's time for a long rest, and we'll come back and we'll do the Orin quest. This is fucking so bullshit. I, Bo is trying his best to explain, but I still do not understand your anger. Do not hide behind your hamster, Ranger. You do not understand, because you do not listen. What did he do? We were the first to discover the cult. And if you had only waited, we might have marshaled our numbers and... Good does not wait for evil to button up its breeches. <laughs> when it offers buttocks for the smacking, means can bow greet cheek with hand. <laughs> Say nothing. This mess falls on our heads, Minsk. The city under siege, its people poisoned by the cult. It all might have been avoided if you had just put your feelings aside and listened. You're all, the only one Misk listens to, remember? Okay. You mean the doppelgangers? It is no comfort to me that my face made this fool all the easier to lead. The point remains. You meant well, Minsk. But you exposed the city to harm. You helped the cult spread. And worse, perhaps than any of this, you forced me to leave you behind. But this is where Minsk falls short of the understanding, Jahira. What else is a berserker for if not to charge into danger ahead of his Waklaren? Yeah. The Waklaren, wise women of Rashomon, each bonded to a berserker bodyguard for life. Oh my god, there this lore. There is no higher title, <laughs> nor deeper bond in all of Rashomon custom. Waklaren? Means, I am not your witch. You are not my bodyguard. This is not some high lodge of your homeland. 
Boo agrees. You're a queer kind of witch. <laughs> but this city is a queer place. And Minsk, you may have noticed, is sometimes strange himself. Oh my god. The titles matter not. Only this. When Minsk does as Minsk does and charges in to make a mess, Jahira does as Jahira does and finds a way to save us all anyway. Oh. I suppose there's twisted logic at play there. Is there? Uh. Wonderful. Another Minsk in the making. Ha! Not without a companion, I'm afraid. Who will ask some of his sewer dwelling friends? I am your friend, Ranger. I am not your witch. There will be no ointments or healing bombs. Not even for Boo? <laughs> Come on! This is ridiculous. It was funny because, um, Darjax said, I think Min Minsk is just a better replacement for Hysterian in combat and personality for Phil. I mean, yeah. He's absolutely hilariously stupid, but funny as shit. He's a great character. He's entertaining. Hysterian was entertaining in his own way, but I think, I think Minsk is going to be funnier overall. So, all right, let's rest. And then we're going to go back and we're going to fight, uh... What is she doing? Why is she glowing? What is that? Why is she glowing like that? I don't even know. I'm not, you know what? Forget it. Oh, he's playing a freaking bongo drum. Minsk has a bongo? What is going on? He's the most random character I've ever seen in any game. All right, let's rest. And then we're going to go fight Orin. Fuck this. We're just going to steamroll through Orin's place. I want to get this done. I want to have Lazel re rescued at this point. Come on, Mince. We got to go slap the buttocks of the ball worshippers together, as you de described so well. Do it. <laughs> oh, man. Let's save and then uh, split the part here. And I think we're going to enter... We're going to enter the Followers of Ball area. Here we go. 